Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel and another Stamp Timber exclusive limited edition paper crafting video tutorial. Today it's Mama Elephant. We are featuring the Kappa Holidays today with this Capabura Bara, I'm probably saying that wrong, stamp set that is part of the Stamp Timber release. This is a limited edition exclusive, but there is also a brand new release from Mama Elephant today, and there's even more Capybara fun with the Capybara Christmas. So I'm combining both of these for my card today because I really wanted to showcase how versatile and how great Mama Elephant is at bringing us stamp sets that work with other things either in their collection or, you know, in this case, things that just came out. However, you could incorporate this limited edition exclusive back to anything that is previously released because their critters are so cute. We are gonna build our background first with this Mary Outline stamp from Simon Says Stamp, stamped on Nina Desert Storm cardstock with white pigment ink. Now I love a fun decorative background and you guys guessed it, the mica spray is coming out to play. This is fresh balsam on this background to grunge it up just a little bit. I'm going to hit it with a heat tool just briefly. I've got quite a bit of coloring to do so this can sit and completely dry while we work on that. But once we have a really fun decorative background, I feel like we're good to go. Now I'm calling this video my go-to card technique because one of my favorite or go-to ideas or design elements when I am designing a card and I maybe don't want to necessarily create a scene, I don't have a border, you know, yada yada, whatever it might be. I love a good quadrant card. Basically what that means is I take a card and I divide it up into fourths and I design something for each quadrant. That is what we're doing today. So prior to stamping my images from the limited edition exclusive Kappa Holidays and the brand new released stamp set, A Capybara Christmas, I laid them out and I got a pretty good idea of what I think my card's gonna look like, I guess. But I stamped them, you may have noticed, on Nina Desert Storm cardstock. That is because we are going to um, color these on the craft cardstock, which is one of my favorite looks. Now, part of my images, as you can see, are die cut already and part are not. The two images that are left on the cardstock, those I have dies for. The rest of these I did not. These are the, the limited edition stamp set. However, there is a stamp die combo available. They were not available at the time of filming. So, for me. So I uh, used my scan and cut. Yours may die cut a little bit different. Now you might wonder why did I do it this way <laughs> when I normally, you probably don't see it because you'll see me coloring and then I die cut it off camera. I was not sure the scan and cut would die cut images on craft cardstock and I thought you know before I take all the time to color them I need to know if they're <laughs> if I'm gonna have to fussy cut or not or as our friend Deb says cussy cut and so because of that I thought you know what let's see if it die cuts first and then I will color them now could I have die cut the other two images yes I could Part of the reason I chose not to, because you can eliminate some areas with the scan and cut, is it wasn't really picking up the images the way I wanted it to. Um, and it, it was kind of funky. And I thought, you know, I have the dies for these. I'm just gonna go ahead and die cut them. So I did kind of wanna explain a little bit about why some are die cut, why some are not, but how they seamlessly work together on this card. So it's all going to work just fine. I am using alcohol ink markers to color in my images. Today I'm using Olo markers. I will have the color combinations down in the description below for you here on the video on YouTube in the description box as well as over on my blog so you can check that out there. I try to kind of keep it simple. You'll notice I am coloring in all of my uh, capybara burras. 
capybaras. Uh, first, I don't know why this word is so hard for me to say, but it is. And then I am going to move on to some of the other areas. Now, in addition to my favorite kind of go-to technique here, or one of my favorite go-to techniques, the quadrants, the other thing is I'm eliminating a lot of extra colors. You're gonna notice my critters are all the same color. Then I am going with a red and green, very traditional Christmas theme, and I am not introducing any other colors into this design. That is very much on purpose. Number one, I love red with craft. I love red and green and Christmas colors with craft. And number two, eliminating a lot of extra colors gives a much more cohesive design for these quadrants. It kind of makes it the whole card, even though it's divided into quadrants, it makes it cohesive where it all works together. And that's what we're looking for. Now, the colors are going to be a little bit more subdued on the craft cardstock, but I really encourage you to try coloring on craft or even colored cardstock if you haven't tried it before. The results are amazing. Craft is one of my favorites because I love the softness that it gives to basically anything that you're doing. I was gonna go with a brighter green. You can see I tested it out there and then I was like, nah, going with my favorite yellow green. <laughs> so we're gonna move right on over to those. I will be adding white highlights and all of that good stuff to my coloring just to add like some decorative touches. I loved stripes and polka dots and highlights and all of that good stuff. Now I am going to speed up the rest of the coloring just a tad to save a little bit time, little bit of time today. Here is a good example of adding some stripes to the package as well as some great highlights. I tended to work on it as I went. I like to kind of watch the images come to life. That is one of my favorite things about coloring is watching all of these adorable images come to life. So you're gonna have to tell me in the comments uh, if you've been watching the Mama Elephant sneak peeks for September, 2023, tell me what your favorites are from the release. Tell me what you'd like to see. Um, in the future and keep in mind that on the 15th is the uh, part one of the Stampede blog hop. It is a three-day hop because this is uh, the 11th anniversary of Mama Elephant. They do an anniversary hop each year. So I will have a new video as part of the hop. For anything white, so you might be wondering, you're using alcohol ink markers. What do you do when you have something that you want to be white because the cardstock isn't white? I love to use a white Prismacolor, oh no, not Prismacolor, um, Polychromo colored pencil. Uh, Prismacolor would work well too, but a white colored pencil over the craft cardstock is perfection. So you'll notice that for the brim of the Santa hats and the pom-pom, or maybe the little um, snow-like area on top of the ornaments, anything like that, I have used a white colored pencil to color it in and make the image white. So that is my favorite little tip. Even if you don't color with colored pencils, I highly recommend picking up a white colored pencil and using it for those kinds of things. You will be happy you did. Same thing with the candy cane, white areas of the candy cane, we need to use the white colored pencil. Although, yeah, I did. It's pretty subtle. And a little highlight, love a little highlight. I probably should have taped my images back into the negative space to color. It probably would have been a little easier, especially for these little teeny tiny ones. Mama Elephant is always great at having little images. So I wanna talk a little bit about this stamp set. There is also an image of a tree with some capybaras and ornaments and presents. There's a wreath that I tried really hard to incorporate into this card and I couldn't figure out how to make it work. A little ducky with a Santa hat, which is so fun. Um, 
and then a star. And I think that's all I didn't use, plus two, there's three greetings and I'm only using one. Now you might say, Nicole, there are two greetings on the card. I didn't feel like two of the, two, any two greetings, I guess I should say, from this stamp set worked how I wanted them to for this design. So what I did was I took one from this design, from this uh, Cappy Holidays stamp set, the limited edition stamp set, and I paired it with one from the Capybara Christmas stamp set. And that is how I worked it out so that they gave, it looked a little more, or red, I guess, a little more natural to me. Now, if you're at all interested in this set, the Mama Elephant set does tend to sell out pretty quickly every year. Now would be a great time. Pause the video, run over to Mama Elephant, pick up the stamp set or the stamp die combo, um, and then you can always come back and watch the rest of the video at any time. I am almost done coloring and kind of ignore me with my marker. My marker was uh, leaking a little bit. That I must have missed one that needs its tip replaced. I'm adding white highlights, all that good stuff. Gonna color in my white for my ornament, highlights for that. Now, eyes. If you guys are have been here for a while, you know I like taking a black jelly roll pen and adding detail to eyes and sometimes noses, depending on the critter or image. But I, if I am using my spell binders or a manual die cutting machine, I wait until I have die cut the image because the pressure of going through the rollers tends to smush or flatten those eyes. It's very subtle. It probably doesn't matter that much. However, it matters to me. So I like to wait and I will do that after and it makes the eyes pop. You can even see in the upper right corner of the screen that I've already done it to the images that have been die cut and the eyes are so vibrant. So once I have die cut these two images from the September release set, I will take a black jelly roll pen and add the detail and look at that. Their little faces come to life. I absolutely love it. We are ready to uh, pretty much pull it together. Let's lay everything out. Let's kind of make sure we like how everything is going. This tag is an amazing new tag. I think this is called the Sweet Shop tag set. If you are a tag fanatic like this girl right here is, I love the Mama Elephant release tags galore, you guys, and an amazing alphabet too. So definitely check it out. I love it. I die cut these two tags from the Sweet Shop, I believe that's what it's called, a die set, it's a frame and it has tags in it from white cardstock. I've die cut two. White felt like too much to me. I want some of that awesome background that we stamped in distress to shine through. Once I have it laid out the way I like, I'm gonna take a scrap of craft cardstock. This is the Nina Desert Storm, same cardstock as our background same cardstock that I use to color our images. I'm stamping my two greetings with an embossing ink. I'm going to sprinkle on white embossing powder and then heat set. Then we'll take my favorite sentiment label dies from Simon Says Stamp, die cut these into sentiment strips, and then we have everything we need to pull our card together and put it all together for a beautiful cohesive design. And of course, we're going to throw in some hearts somewhere. I don't know that I've been adding that many hearts to my cards. I mean, who even am I lately? <laughs> but I'm back and I'm making up for it with this card. I like to line up one side of my sentiment label die with the greeting, run it through my die cutting machine, then line it up with the other end to make it nice and clean and run it through again. Just barely. You'll hear it click. Now you could also use a paper trimmer if you want to. For the tags, we're going to be gluing our images directly to the tags and then popping the tags up with foam. For the images not on tags, those are going to be popped up with foam adhesive as well. 
Now I was having the terrible time tying my ribbon because my tag was scooting all over the place. So let's just attach it to my card. That's gonna give it, me a lot more stability and then I can tie some red twine at the top of the tag. I like to decorate my tags a little bit. You could even take this idea if you wanna simplify it and you could make adorable gift tags with your new stamp set. So foam adhesive on the back of my images now that go in those other two quadrants. And the two quadrants that don't feature a tag are going to feature sentiments. I felt like there was plenty of room for sentiments, so I am going to be adding them here. And it may overlap a little bit into another quadrant. That is okay with me. To me, that just gives you such a cohesive, beautiful design when things kind of you know, slightly overlap other areas into the grid. And it is a, you know, imaginary grid. I imagine it in my head, but uh, <laughs> it's not actually a grid. Okay, and then we're popping up our other little image and then our final tag. Now I'm gonna get smarter. Let's just attach that tag right to our card and then glue our images down. That's going to make that so much easier. Um, we're gonna thread through our red twine. Love this red twine. It's just something I had in my drawer, been collecting or hoarding, whatever, for years. <laughs> Let's go with collecting. That sounds better. And you guys are crafters, you know. And then we're going to go ahead and attach our flying little reindeer, Capybara. He has a candy cane and a present. We are ready now to add our finishing details. I'm going to add little dabs of glue and pop these red hearts throughout the design. Now, I didn't put one exactly where I wanted. Luckily, it was still wet, so I was able to pry it off without ruining my card and move that heart. It's that one right above wishing you a Christmas full of capybara cuteness, pardon me. I didn't like that one, so. I'm just moving it along just like that. And we're gonna move it down here. Sometimes that happens. Luckily, I caught it. There, I like that so much better. We'll glue this to a white top fold card base and our card is all finished. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight for this awesome new limited edition exclusive from Mama Elephant. The supplies I used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me today for another paper crafting tutorial. I love being able to share with this incredible community of crafters. I want to give a huge shout out and special thank you to my amazing Patreon members. If you're interested in joining Patreon, please click the link in the description underneath the video here on YouTube. Patreon is a private community where you can support more of what I do. There is exclusive content, information, and behind the scenes content. Top tier members will receive a handmade birthday card during your birthday month, access to DStash, and monthly exclusive lives, plus so much more. We would love to have you join our growing community. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and don't forget to click the notification bell to always be notified when there is a new video or I go live. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you again next time.